on the last episode of the family Chantel, Winter and Ja is trying to reconcile their relationship after the secret came out that he had a son. Pedro is in confliction of not trying to figure out who his father is and he is on the search to get that information. Nicole went through with her surgery and it was a success and her man ain't happy about it. <laughs> Let's get into the review of Family Chantel. Okay, this episode was a little bit a snooze face, okay? It was really nothing much going on in this episode, but we're going to do what we can. Chantel actually picks up her mother, Karen, to go to the doctor. they in the car, and Karenville, she have not driven a car since the 80s. I said, wow, that's a long time not to be driving, especially in Georgia. Karen pays people to take her where she needs to be. She says wherever she is that I am. A lot of men say women are not good drivers. And I feel like if you look in a dictionary, Karen Pitcher would be there. She get off the vibe that she's not a good driver. I said don't feel bad, Karen. My picture would be in a dictionary too for being the worst female driver ever. Okay, so don't feel bad of not driving. I'm in the same boat as she is. <laughs> Can you just imagine being on the road with Karen? I think that would really be scary. We like Karen, but um, that would be scary. <laughs> and on the way to the doctor's office, why I said... Instead of Karen fussing with her daughter on what road to take and what turn to take, why she just didn't put the address in Google so Google could tell her where to get there? <laughs> I said that really works, okay? You better believe that. Chantel reveals to her mother about the conversation she had with Winter about she should rethink about getting with child. If he did it before, he could do it again. At the end of the day, I said it is winter choice. She is a grown woman. She got an experience job for herself. She got to see for herself if she's making the right decision with Ja. No matter if we think Ja is good for her or not, she has to come to that conclusion at the end of the day on her own. Chantel tells her mom that Ja proposed to her before even telling her that. And Winter declined the um, proposal. At the end of the day, Karen is glad that she did not accept that offer and they did not get married. So the mother is definitely excited about that. And Karen believes that they should iron out all the issues before they get married. You do not wait until you get married to deal with the issue. That it's going to get worse. And I actually agree with Karen with that. I said when I was growing up, a pastor would not marry you unless you went to pre-marital counseling. And if you did not do that, you could not get married. Okay? Things have changed in this world. People are just getting married and nobody is putting in the work. Marriage is not easy. You have to put in the work for it to be a successful I said Karen should know because she has been married to her husband for a very long time. Okay. <laughs> it is date day. And let me tell you, this was the most boringest day I ever seen in my life. I couldn't believe it. I like, that's it. That's it. Yo, I cannot believe it. I like River. Mega seemed cool. But this was the most boringest day I ever seen. I like, what is going on here? <laughs> yeah, what is going on? It was short and very quick and very rushed to me. Okay? They had River getting dressed for his date. Okay? And they show you all his shoes and his clothes. You could tell River is a fashion Easter. Okay? He loves his sneakers. And he is very fashionable. Okay? 
River is very smitten about Megan and thinks she got body yaddy yaddy yaddy. Body yaddy yaddy yaddy. <laughs> he thinks she all of that, that okay? How they it actually came in contact with each other is through mutual friends, alright? And they actually hanged out in group settings instead of hanging out one-on-one. -on -one. And I said at the end of the day, River met Megan at the um, indoor skydive in Georgia. And, and she actually arrives. They greet each other. They go in. And they actually having a conversation and they talking. Am I the only one bugging when in the confessional when she had her makeup and her ways and her hair, okay? She looked like Kim Kardashian, all right? Am I the only one that thought that? Because I might be just bugging. Let me know if I'm bugging or not. When she was on the date, she looked it kind of different. She actually don't look like Kim K, actually. And in real life, she wants to do skydiving. But she changed her mind because she actually has a son to live for. So Megan is actually a single mom. And they show a picture of her and her son. And I said her son is so adorable. He's a cute kid. He seemed like he is very loved by his mom. Okay? That's all I can say about that. And Meg is actually from Kentucky. I really don't know nothing about Kentucky. About The only thing I know about Kentucky is KFC. Kentucky Fried Chicken, baby. And I have not ate that in a long time since I was a kid. I have not had KFC. That's the only thing I know about Kentucky. So, she is from Kentucky and she moved to Savannah, Georgia. Savannah, Georgia is not the hood, but a nice area. She is River think she has personality and she funny, but I did not see that on this date. Uh, with River and Megan, it was really hard to watch. It was really hard to watch, okay? Because when they did the skydiving, they wasn't even doing it together, okay? They did it separately. And then they had a conversation. I like, first of all, where is the food at? You gonna have me on a date and not feed me, honey? I know that, that, that. Where is the food? Ladies, if they did eat, they should have include that in, <laughs> in the clip. If they cut that out, why are we cutting that out? Okay? So they small talking and River is so fond Oh, Megan, he is willing to become a stepdaddy <laughs> at the age of 23 to Megan, all right? And Megan is actually an older woman, only by seven years. And he said that does not bother him because his older brother is 10 years older than his wife, which is royal in a great. I hope I'm saying her name right because I always say her name wrong. <laughs> I always say her name wrong. So, he said that does not bother him. He is willing to step up. I said, River, are you willing to deal with baby daddy's issues, okay? Because let me tell you, are you willing to co-parent with the baby daddy? I like, it's things to think about with these. I like, it's nothing wrong with being a single parent. A single parents need love too, huh? okay? <laughs> But are you willing to take on that responsibility as a parent as you being a single dude? And he said this relationship is different from any other that he ever been with. The other ones were a quickie. And he want to be in this for a long run. I said, first of all, you too young. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Trying to be a daddy out here in these streets. Okay. I hope River is wrapping up his thing with a Jimmy. Okay? Don't be bringing home no kids. Because one thing we ain't going to do, we ain't raising your children. Okay? You better be responsible for raising your own kids. <laughs> I believe it do take a village to raise a child. But what we do is babysit and give them right back to you. That's what we do over here. And I wonder if Melia ever had work done on her body. Because they showed a picture of her body. I said her body is way better looking than mine. Okay. They showed her work. 
She she does swimsuits, okay, fitness. She is a my too, honey. And I said, if you think my body look like Megan, got it. Cause baby, I got rolled for days. <laughs> my bodies would never. My body do not look like that, okay? Like no. But I said, if she stay on this show, this show would give her. Um, exposure to her modeling career and probably get her more jobs to model. And I think this show will really help her and put money in her pocket to get on other shows. And that's what she's looking for. So, we're going to see in future episodes if she bring that personality. And she asks River, is he going to tell her about his family? And he is skeptical about that. Because he know his family could be crazy. The Chantel family, yeah, they crazy. <laughs> and they, he don't want her to be scared away. I think they will eat her alive. That's just my opinion. I don't really know the personality from people from, um, from Kentucky. So I don't know if she could hold her own. But I think the Chantel family would eat Megan alive. And she ain't going to know what she in for. <laughs> know what she in for. I like, you gotta be crazy to deal with this crazy family. Alright? <laughs> and they actually in the date by hugging and they go into their separate cars. And the producers ask them why you have not kissed her. And I think River is actually a shy dude. He don't want to admit that he shot, but he, cause he trying to pretend like he got that swag. <laughs> I like, you can have swag and still be shy, or am I wrong? I don't know. But at the end of the day, Megan says she want him to go at his own pace, and I actually agree with that. I think both of them should go at their own pace. Don't rush into things. To me, I think there's really no chemistry between them. That's what I get from the date. I got no chemistry. It was dry. And it's like, we just going through the motions right now. <laughs> That's what I basically got from that date. <laughs> um, it was definitely the most boringest date in television history. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> We're in Dominican Republic. And let me tell you. My girl, Nicole, is feeling her style. She feeling her style. She feeling her style. <laughs> My girl got it. confidence, honey. She is walking in the mall with her merchandise out, okay? Look at these girls right here, honey. And she got her mama honking onto her boobs and everything. <laughs> and her mother approved that she looks better with the increase of her breasts. So, Nicole goes to the mall to meet her best friend, Carmilla. I don't know if I'm saying her name right. <laughs> and her best friend thinks she looks wonderful. And glad that she went through with the procedure, okay? Nicole is in the lingerie shop and modeling the lingerie, honey. She twirly. My girl is just working it in her heels, okay? She is feeling sexy. She is feeling motivated, inspired by her new booze, okay? I said, Nicole, you better get your life. You better get your life. If you can't love you, who gonna love you, okay? You better love yourself. You better feel on yourself. I know that's right. <laughs> My girl thinks she's smoking hot. And her best friend just honking on her boobs too, all right? <laughs> so, they looking at the bras and stuff, and they're just doing girl talk, okay? She is telling her about how Alejandro feel about her going through the procedure. He was not okay with it, and he was feeling some kind of way, and she did not like it. And her best friend thinks Alejandro is selfish. And I do agree, Alejandro is selfish. <laughs> and she want her brother to stay out of her business because he like he has no right. That's her private life. She can do what she wants. She grown. 
that is her man. Whatever happens between her and her man, that is between them. That's how Nicole feel. And I said Nicole is definitely crazy too. <laughs> she definitely crazy. <laughs> Cause it's definitely her brother business on how her significant other treat her. Okay, we gotta let her know. You won't do my family member like this, okay? Nicole revealed she just didn't get breast implants. She also got her braces taken off. Her and friend think it's cool, but I think they wanted. She wanted to get their braces taken off together, okay? I have never wore braces actually, and my teeth are actually jacked up, okay? You see these things? <laughs> I see my teeth. They are yellow as crazy. My teeth are yellow. Like, they like yellow smell. Okay. <laughs> Pedro is getting ready for New York. Chantel is helping him pack, and Pedro is feeling some kind of way. Pedro thinks Chantel is like excited to get rid of him. He like, she like, no, babe. I'm just helping you get ready to go to New York. I'm not excited because you're leaving. <laughs> so I thought it was cute how Chantel was helping him get his suitcase, opening the car door for him to put his suitcase in the air. I, like, I thought that was so cute. Chantel is being the helpful wife to her husband. So Chantel and Pedro is in the car and they... Chantel is trying to fish around for him to talk about him knowing his father and when he was little. And Pedro feel like it's a touchy subject. And he really don't want to talk about it. She was like, I thought you knew who your father was. <laughs> that you had a relationship with your father when you was younger at the end of the day. He like, I had my father had never been in my life. He was like, I only see my father like three times. One, he bought me a bike, and he ain't never taught him to ride it. I was like, I thought that was really sad. You telling me your father bought you a bike, and he never spent time for you to learn how to ride it? That speaks volumes, okay? And he remember his father coming to his house at night, and he being told to go to his room. I thought that was crazy. I was like, what? So... Chantel believed that Pedro might have been sent to his room because his mom and father did adult time together, okay, at this point. That is the only memory that Pedro have of his father. I think that's really sad. And I feel like this. It's called Legacy. What do you want to be known as a parent? Do you want to be known as an absentee parent? That you are was never involved in your children's lives? Or you want to be known a parent that was there? That you see your children grow up to become what they are now today? I said, when your children become famous, don't come around begging, re re reaping the rewards. Of their success when you wasn't there for their struggle. Basically, that's what I'm saying. And I'm going to give you an example. It's like the Tyler Perry movie, Meet the Browns. When you had the boy who was a basketball player. And he was the single mother was struggling with his kid. And the father did not want to help out. Didn't want to pay child support. He didn't want to provide anything. And then was trying to get sex out of the mother. Like, and then when the basketball player made it, here comes the father coming around during the press thinking he could take credit. And he tells him, this is my father who was never involved in my life. Do you want to be that parent? No, no, no. That's unacceptable. Because your child might become very successful in life. And then you're going to look back over, hey, I should have been involved in my kid life. And you're like, it's too late. It's too late. The single parent did all that work. Now, when the work is done, you want to take credit. That's not how that works over here. No, that's not how that works over here. No. Get your life. Okay? Get your life. 
Not mine. Get your life. Not my life. Your life. Okay. It is winter and Jaws day. And they're going out. They finally getting some one-on-one -on -one time as a couple. And winter is talking about the history they have with each other. She like, she really don't like her family butting into her relationship. She is trying to move forward with Ja at the end of the day. And she is constantly being reminded of Ja's past when her family is butting into her business. Okay? And she is really trying to make this work with Ja. And I said, is it me? Or is Winter putting more into the relationship than Ja? I'm just saying. It's like, how many times did Winter say, I love you, I love you, and Ja seemed like he hesitated to say, I love you back? Like, what? I like right there, I should show you, child. I know some men probably is not, don't like to show public affection. I don't know. Does not mean he don't love you. I don't know if that's the case with Ja. But to me, it's like he was struggling to be affectionate with Winter, okay? But he says he loves her after she keeps telling him she loves him, all right? Child, I cannot with Winter. Winter look like she excited be, to be with this man, okay? I like there's nothing wrong with that. I like there's nothing wrong with showing public affectionate, but are you showing it more than your other mate is showing it? I like, dang, they could at least show it back, though. <laughs> and he says what he loves about Winter. He loves her braces. I like, okay. And I don't remember else what he said he loved about her. <laughs> I think he said he loved her personality. I'm not really sure. Okay. I like, if they so in love with each other, why are they sitting so far apart like that? They're just holding hands. And both of them is sitting at the each end of the um seat in the limo. What what is that about in the car? Like what? And when you love somebody, you're gonna really see the affection that comes out. They can't keep their hands off each other, okay? They're gonna be rubby touchy, they're gonna be kissy kissy, okay? And I didn't really see that in the car ride. The Chantal family to mind their business, okay? They actually go to a restaurant. I thought it was cute. They was playing Latin music in the back. And I really thought they was enjoying each other's company. And Ja is planning to propose to Winter at this date. Okay? That was his intentions. Child. <laughs> a lot went wrong on this date. Okay? Can you say <laughs> problematic? So, Winter suggests that they dance. And they actually danced to me when they were dancing. They look stiff. I like, baby, you got to move, honey. You got to move that body when you dancing. Maybe because they not used to dancing on camera, it could come off that way. I don't know. So, Josh showed us the ring, what it looked like. He said, this is the style for Winter. That's what she liked. To me, I personally did not like the ring. But if that's her style, more power to your sister. That's for you, okay? Um, and then things took a turn for the worse when she said, "When you um proposed to me before, Ja looked so confused. Like, where is this coming from? He like, I never proposed to you, and y'all went up was mad <laughs> cause Ja tried to play her for a fool. Like, she just making this thing up." And I don't think Winter seemed like a liar to me. And I don't think she would make that up. And Ja is definitely playing mind games with Winter. Because he know he did. He said, oh, it wasn't a traditional proposal. First of all, that's a confession you did propose. Because he tried to deny it and say, I ain't never proposed to you. And... One thing I don't like a guy is playing with your time and your emotions. And men call a woman crazy. We ain't crazy because you try to make us look like we are crazy. Sometimes we are crazy, okay? For no reason. But a woman is crazy because a man is playing with her emotions. 
and then make it seem like he ain't doing nothing wrong. And we ain't with it over here with that, okay? We're not playing those type of games over here, okay? And I do not like that. And that tell me all I need to know about job, girl. I said, if him pretending like he ain't never proposed to you, don't tell you that's a red flag, girl. I don't know what the hell is wrong with you. Girl, I would have left the table. I would have left the table. I would have left job sitting here by himself. Child, I thought that was crazy and bizarre at the same time. I like, uh, what? It was awkward. It was definitely awkward. <laughs> Yo. Child basically tried to play Winter Full Fool. I could not. Drew is in New York. He handled his business with his passport. That is done, okay? So, he meets up with Alejandro. Alejandro is waiting on Pedro. Pedro's arrived. And Alejandro trying to be best friend. He said, how are you? You look skinny. You're skinny. And, <laughs> yo, Pedro comes out swinging. He like, yo, you look like a troll. <laughs> Have you seen the movie Trolls? <laughs> That's what you look like. <laughs> I cannot with Pedro. Pedro is not coming to play no game with Alejandro. He like, we're not going to pretend like we best friends because... Alejandro is trying to gaslight Pedro, all right? He like, I brought you a gift. Open this up. Why are you coming at me like this? He, Pedro, like, I don't want to open your gift. We don't rock. I don't rock with you like that. So we, I'm not doing that. We not going to go. Are you going to listen to me? Why did you fly my sister out to New York and leave my mother alone in Dominican Republic by herself? Okay? And... Alejandro, like a man, addresses it. He like, first of all, your mother okay her to come out to NYC. So it's not like she did not know about it, okay? She said it was okay. And I felt like that issue was dead. And then here come Alejandro saying, F you and your mama and her bull crap. She, he like, I am not here for you. I'm here to make Nicole happy. And... Pedro did not like what he said. He said, what you say? What you say about my mama? <laughs> he said, Alejandro is not even doing that, his job. He said he here to make Nicole happy, and Nicole is not even happy with him. <laughs> so you not even doing that, sir, okay? Have several seats, please. <laughs> Opinion and being critical of him. <laughs> he gets up and walks away. He gets up and walks away. <laughs> Pedro gets up and follows the boy. I said, that's not what we do in New York, because New York could be really crazy. One thing we ain't going to do is get up and follow people, all right? <laughs> now, if somebody says something about your mama, you have, in the black community, mama jokes, okay? We going to say, your mama so dumb, she used ice cream to shave her legs. <laughs> we say, your mama so dumb, she thought, your uncle was her daddy. That's what we say in the black community. If somebody is verbally talking about your mama, we verbally talk about your mama back. That's how we do it. <laughs> Some people might call it the dozens. I don't know what the hell you call it, but we call it mama jokes. Okay, if you want to play mama jokes, we could go with the mama jokes. Now, if they put your hands on you, you have a right to defend yourself. <laughs> At the end, they get to the corner. I said, they look like two brothers play fighting with each other. <laughs> Alejandro is swinging Pedro, which he look like he's on a Coley Island ride with his legs swinging around. I cannot. That was crazy. And it happens that Pedro is on top of Alejandro. <laughs> Alejandro is screaming, get on me! <laughs> Yo, I cannot. <laughs> and then... Alejandro proceeds to walk away again, all right? Okay, I thought this scene was a little bit crazy and funny at the same time. Because Alejandro walks away and then he comes back and then he pretends like he karate <laughs> kicking somebody and misses. <laughs> and he don't even land on Pedro at all. He like, you don't want to mess with me. I'm 100% muscle. 
A hundred percent muscle, and you're skinny. You're skinny, <laughs> yeah. So after the altercation, Pedro calls Nicole. Nicole picks up, and she got her merchandise on display. Okay, she is advertising it. She like, look what the doctor has done for me, honey. Okay, and Pedro is telling her, and. Nicole is like, why is you telling me this? She looking unbothered by the information. He like, Pedro is like, oh, we got into an altercation in the streets. I like, if he's willing to do this, no telling what he's willing to do behind closed doors. <laughs> I like, first of all, Pedro initiated the, co the confrontation. So... <laughs> So I really don't know why he was calling Nicole to tell her this. And Nicole is like, four to five hours, I broke it off with him. We is no longer together. And Pedro is like, really? So, you could tell that Alejandro is a narcissist at his best. I'm like, if Nicole broke it up with Alejandro, why did he meet <laughs> What <laughs> Pedro about this information because Alejandro wanted camera time, he came dressed to be on camera. All right, okay, he wanted his camera time and he wanted to shine because he did yell out and say, That's why I'm with your sister. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I like let me tell you, Alejandro is, is the villain in this situation. I said he is a paid actor, but he do make good TV, okay? He brings the necessary drama to hold the viewer's attention, okay? Alejandro is definitely a paid actor. And the reason Nicole broke it off with Alejandro, because it got back to he was trying to fly a girl out to Texas to come see him. And... Pedro is like, he's a cheater, and he want a wife, and he want girlfriends. Yo, I am done. I'm done. On the next episode, you're going to see Ja sitting down with the Chantel family, and he is going to stir the pot with the bottom feeder topic. And let me tell you, Karen was not here for it. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching.